Damon Hetter in the next round. Question is, can the wizard Simon Whitlock join it? Or is Lisa Ashton going to add another big name oh, scout to her collection? Because Jason Lowe, he's not a man who crumbles. But Damon Hetter has been pretty relentless in this match. Look at this. 140. What a player this guy is. He really did look like Hetta might pick up his first major TV title at the Grand Slam of Darts. He was playing magnificently then, back end of last year. And for my money, it was the, the best display we saw from James Wade all year to deny him. He was magnificent, only ended up losing to José de Sousa in the final. But look at this. Double 14 to wrap it up. Game shot and it is there. It is Damon. another superb display from Damon Hetter. Unquestionably one of the finest starters. To I was looking at the 18 segment there from 308 to give himself the best chance of getting down to a finish. Can't manage that. So Lisa's got six darts from here. This time she does use the bullseye last dart to leave herself a two-darter. Seems a sensible play. One seven one to leave double ten. Oh, how about this? How about that for a setup shot from the wizard Simon Whitlock? All sorts of pressure on Lisa Ashton. Is it double double? She's got the opportunity too if she wants. Yeah, she went for it, and she's pinned a double. Seventy-eight. Unfortunately, she needed two in that visit. And Simon Game Whitlock shot. gets the job Simon. done. There was some dodgy doubling from the pair of them. It could have been any score, to be honest. That Clemens is in a lot of trouble. Jake's starting with a 140 and is back in the lipstick. Very, very good. And he has to feel confident at the minute after that run at the UK Open. Because that was... Probably the best run, aside from Fifth, making yeah. a Players' Championship final five years ago. Aside from that, maybe his career highlight. If he gets through this match, which is looking increasingly likely, Gary Blades and or Scott Mitchell are going to have problems. That match is coming up, and it could be coming up in a matter of seconds because this is Peter Jakes at 96 for the match two visits in hand just taking a moment this time he does hesitate but it's a measured hesitation 80 and really well thought out double eight when he finishes a little bit of time to think and Clemens, all he can do is hope that Jake's doesn't know what he's doing on double eight, but you get the feeling the way that Peter's played in the last couple of legs, he has been the better player on this board. He's going to finish the job. Double four. Superb. And the match 14 dart today. finish there for Jake's, who from 3 3 wins three straight and was the better player, averaging less than Gabriel Clemens the entire match. Don't of winning one of these events. Performances like this. Showcasing exactly why. 140. This will bring an end. 90. To the first round action. And an end to Gary Blade's tournament. Double 18. Double 9. 52. Not quite finished yet. If he can find the treble, he'll get a dart at the bullseye. Not to be for Blades, and it hasn't 86. been for Blades all year in Players' Championship events.
Game it is six Animal. played, Scott six lost for Gary Blades. As Scott Mitchell marches on. That's 17 was to get a dart of the ball to try and supersede the average from the first round. A numbers game for Devin Peterson. 48. And maybe that's just in his mind a little bit. Wasn't far away with that miss. It would have been a supersized steal from Jeff Smith and the Nine. manner in which he threw, at least that second dart suggests that he thinks the writing is imprinted on the wall. Double four. Game shot and the match. And there it is Devin for Devon Peterson. An excellent performance from the African Warrior. A wonderful display, a 6-3 success. The average dropping to over 105. In the I have a Gary Anderson. They beat him 3-1 in sets in the World Grand Prix quarterfinal. 137. Anderson leaves himself on tops. Can he find a treble? He can. Match dart, double 18. Dirt van Dijven Boda. 98. Misses. Poor dart. Poor dart. 35 left. 3 or 15? Double 16. 24. Well, Gary Anderson will be fuming, but that little visit kind of sums up his effort this afternoon. Game and Dirt Van Dijvenboda puts Dirt him Van out Van of his misery. He has been so much better than the Flying Scotsman in this one. He has beaten him on the Pro Tour at the start of the year. He beat him at the UK Open, and he's beaten him again. It's three wins out of the last three for Dirk Van Dijvenboda. The Titan is on the march at Players' Championship 6. He is going to win something soon. It might be this afternoon. On is 2-0 down to go in price, as these guys just continue to whack 140s at each other. One hundred and five. Use of the bullseye means that Peter Wright will not need the bull when he returns. Oh, hello. Another one in there. Nicely rescued by Ryan Searle. Leaves him a two-dart checkout. 419s for tops. Oh, beautiful. Game shot. Absolute surgery from Peter Wright. 12 data, 4 1. Ryan Serlu pressurized that, was on a potentially 11 data himself, and gets nothing for it. Loves a 1 6 1. Has he got room? No, he hasn't. I mean, particularly with those 80. 32 gram bombs of darts he throws. Peter Wright will not take out the 161. Ryan Searle. 105. It's just a little look up to make sure Wright wasn't going to pin that. Game shot. And double top is there. He is broken. He is held. Now he must break again. 3 2 4. 3 4 2, sorry. Eighty-seven. And Peter Wright is going to get match darts. Now he did struggle a little on the doubles at the start of the game. That seemed to have disappeared. Will it return at the end? Game of course it won't. Peter Wright, an absolutely majestic game of darts between two fabulous players, both averaging in excess of 103, but Ryan Searle's woes against Snakebite continue. Trouble 19. Would have left double 12 to Eight. stay in the match. Now Dolan has to cross his fingers that Cullen doesn't take this, but he might. Double 16 for the match. Oh, and he probably thought that was him when he threw it. One match dart has been missed by Cullen now. And Dolan will surely look at the 20. 
to take us to the decider. Game That's show. exactly where we go, and maybe it deserves it. This one got top billing for the last 16. Just to forget them, but he can't. Treble 10. And the easy setup 49. by virtue of Cullen not leaving the finish. Cullen will feel empty and he will think this game is over. 140. They can't be separated. Five legs all, 32 points left each. It's got echoes of the Dolan game against Gerwin Price at the Worlds. But this time it's Dolan who gets the first crack. And he doesn't make a mistake. That's 11 games in a row. The same reaction after he won the title yesterday, but Cullen is gone. The number one seed is out. And the man who won Players' Championship 5 yesterday is very much alive. And he It'll be two darts for the leg, but only... 99. If Michael Smith does not take 2, 4, 5 in 6. Got to try and leave the ton here, the two darter. 100. Does so. This leg has been well thought out by Price. And he's going to get a crack at it. And it will be for 4-2 in the first two-leg gap in this match. Double top for another, but he's got to stay away from it here. 40. He's got every right to bat his head there. A lot of players go for that double top again when they've missed the board. Michael Smith has missed that very target and has opened up Gerwin Price for two darts at the same target. Game Not the best leg, and I'm sure that wasn't the portion that Gezi was going for. Pushed it a tad, but finds the right-hand portion, and it's good enough for a 4-2 lead. Doesn't want to go anywhere else, but decides to switch. It was courageous and accurate. But this is for the match. And it's Price at tops. Which he very rarely misses. 96. But maybe I just put the hex on him there. It was a good dart. It just didn't climb enough. Michael Smith has two at double 16. To survive. 66. And he does not survive. With Price on double 10. During the Worlds, he was mustered here. Game and he's mustered and right now. And he hits the catch-up as well to find himself into the last four. A brilliant performance and an average of 104 from the world champion. Fire in the 180. Hughes needs at least the former of those two scores to leave a finish. 100. And that just allows... Humphrey, some breathing space. 28. It's not the first time that's happened in this match. It happened in the first couple of legs to the pair of them. Down to a finish first and a makeable out shot. And a bit of a mess of a visit. Six. Open the door for Jamie Hughes, but he's unable to walk through it. Game shot. And exactly like he did in the early part of the match, Humphreys hoovers up the crumbs that he left for himself. Brendan Dolan has cut the gap to 3-2 against Price. Into the winner's enclosure. 106. Humphreys doing his level best to make sure that is not the case. He doesn't want to give them a fight. Ready to win his first senior title. 100. Double 16 to regain control of the match. Has he got control of himself? Has he got control of his nerves? Game shot. It's a cool head from Cool Hand Luke. As he moves ahead. 19. Blocked himself. There was no way through. 24. Is there a way through to the final? Humphreys has now missed four match darts. Well, that one's kind of out of the way. At least three quarters of the bed available, but now that has been moved to double 10. Game shot. But he hits it. End of it. 
It's a decent response from Humphreys after missing those four chances. He's shaking his head. 100. But he's still in this. A 140 here. Oh, that's a disastrous start. Here's a disastrous visit. And a darting dream may have turned into a darting nightmare. Unbelievable, he says. 45. Well, perhaps a final gift from Jamie Hughes. 100. It's 100. It might give him an outside chance. Hughes will look at the 19s. Treble 20. For double 20. After Humphreys has missed four match starts, 99. Jamie Hughes now misses his first. A chance to put it right, Luke. He can do it on the ball. Game oh, and he has done it on the ball. What a sensational way to book his place in his first Players' Championship final. Luke Humphreys, having missed four at the outer ring, beds the bullseye to complete a 1-2-2 checkout.